Today, let's talk about instance method reference in Java. Here, we have an employee class containing a field ID, another field name. Then we have a parameterized constructor, getter methods, and a toString method. Looks simple. Now let's move on to this my comparator class. It contains a very simple method which says it is going to compare by name when we are going to provide two different employees. So again, this looks simple. Then we have this demo class where as you can see, I'm invoking the method populate employees of the generator util class. It will provide me a list of employees, but I'm assuming that this list is going to be completely random. So here we are printing the input as well as output and currently it is going to look same. So what we can do is we can do something like this collections and then we can say sort. Then on this sort, we will be saying that we will be doing it on amp list. The second argument we are going to provide the comparator. So here let's call it something like this comparator and this goes something in this way. Now obviously I need to override the unimplemented methods and then it is going to look something like this. Now here I can directly do also but what I need is I need to take help of this my comparator. For this what I will be doing is first of all I need to create an object of that particular comparator so let's write it something like this my and then it is going to look my comparator and yeah this is how it is going to look like and then what i can simply do is i can simply say here my dot and then compare by name then i will say o1.o2 and that's it i don't need to do anything much i just need to provide and on executing you can see that we are able to sort the employees on the basis of their name but the point is why to write so many things when we can make it simpler so everyone knows that here it is going to be comparator and only this method so no need to mention the same thing again and again also there is no need to write this particular part so we can make it some simple something like this then this is my argument and this is my body between them let's put this arrow symbol let me bring it to the next line since in my body there is only a single statement let's remove these curly braces also and then you can see it will look something like this more interesting things which i can do is i can remove this employee because everyone knows it will obviously take employees only so you can see that we can implement it with lambda expression now something more interesting we can do here is that since we are providing this o1 and o2 as it is to our method compare by name we don't need to write all these things as it is so let's remove this part also and from here let's remove this also and what i can simply do is that here i just need to put double colon so this is going to become instance method reference in java on executing you can see that this is still working fine do like the video if you feel you have learned something new today. Thank